All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose at the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, pounding Belmont, right on my train. Coroner says it's going to take at least a week. You're behind the wheel. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. 90% of murders are domestic, you know. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It's going to be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take a lift from his wife. What do you think is going to happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Scoop for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. They're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker in the corner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem.
Hmm. Interesting. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. the writing on the victim be? BD, Lactalia, Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killer's trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Can't be the one used on the body. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Are you a werewolf? For my money? A copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. We've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hot shot. What's more likely? 
werewolf comes back around, leaving us a note in the court. He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Dubs. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. Well, the examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with money, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't. Understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You would have found it. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here in a little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Yes, I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. 
Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But he refused. She picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Where's that goddamn place? Me up. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Operator, message for KGPL. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks, ma'am. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp is my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirsty. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Jabs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're 
killing me! The deaths were unfortunate, but you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Explain the missing ring. Size nines, above average for a lady. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? Think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this and you feel on the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss... Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. 
but we are responsible for what goes on. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the blog keeps the house looking like that, so it's probably preserved. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the VD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You you come in here, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. I get even the slightest thing that you're a flight risk, pal. <laughs> The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Size 11s. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. I know she went to the Bomba Club. The bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? 
Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killed her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. You're not... Okay. What's this button? Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R&I. &I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it, we're coming in. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand has always worked too in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jake while the public will sleep easy today. Run along now, folks. I've warmed them up nicely for you.
Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator, famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine. She never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other. Where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. Who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. In that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps, you failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. 
I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. We can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Mendez, apartment 16. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. Sure this means much. We gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. injuries and the blood can be typed.
Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. We have the murder weapon. Better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. Get in and drive. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Asshole off the road. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Show me your hands. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect, and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. 
The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop with the one. Goddamn captains make me resubmit the paperwork. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You did a decent job on the Henry case, though. Not bad for your first time like that. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Now, boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't witness. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that matter. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take the life of the city of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Detective, I was first on scene. All these cars got like something big, right? Can't be much help to you, Phelps. The stopping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat. Deirdre Muller by R&I. Back in a second. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? stopping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Look at your mark. It's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Finger. Fourth finger, left hand, a wedding or engagement ring, violently removed. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off.
Detectives, RNI says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. And have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and similar MO? To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. And have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back in a moment. Just sit tight. My partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Size eight. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. sign of a wedding ring.
Help me out. All right. Talk to the girl. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I'll try. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. The yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What did? Daddy, the police Go to your are room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some Your wife kind of... was found murdered this morning. Found? What? But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> so you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to...
pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, goddammit. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair, it drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in LA. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Yes, ma'am? I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Isn't he the cop who won a medal in solving all the cases? Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. There he is. See him? Doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... It's a moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. Do you have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective Unit. 
We get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street. And send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Roger, 11K. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Police morgue downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. That's a cop. Seems like a decent guy. He wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks for your help. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? Your favorite orchestra. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deal. God knows I wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all the liturgical. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. I'll try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, ma'am. If anything else comes up, you let us know. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? 
detective. Are there any messages for me? Yes, detective. A green 1946 coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor's statement. Thanks, ma'am. to nail this guy. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. It's not exactly the happiest of places, the Craner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, man. Corners. How so? You know, you don't want them to join their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get off and lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the point. This is the car? Yes, sir, Detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now! Hey, you! Go, Belt, I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off.
That's far enough, freak. You move a muscle and you're a dead man. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you low motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You are in very deep trouble. Why bother with the paperwork, Eli? I'm gonna take out my gun, and I'm gonna count to five. Let's see how fast you can run now. Hang on a goddamn minute. I found that thing in the parking lot. Get some backup out here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phil? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. Can we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for me.
better not go soft on me in here, though. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials H.M. found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A uh, Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. again. Hey, Boys, really come through this time, haven't you? You don't want to make homicide. You know you've got it made if you can get to that desk. I was door knocking all morning, and I got to make a car again. Isn't he the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Want another conversation? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally. Hey, you look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You 
You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss the place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any workwear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. A farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid until I hitch and braid. stays tight. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first-degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. Ah, Phelps, Galloway, congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. <laughs> 